Are you excited? Yep, sure am. <laughs> We're going out for Jasper's birthday. It was his birthday a couple of weeks ago actually and the restaurant that I wanted to book to take him out for dinner was like closed for refurbishment or something. It's somewhere that I've wanted to go for quite a few years now and I kind of keep forgetting about it. It's not that far from us really, um, although it is rush hour. So I tried to book like the earliest possible table today just because it's not just a restaurant. I feel, think it's like a bit of an experience as well as like food. And so I thought if I book it as early as possible, it's great while Jas is working at home because then we can get there early and then we can spend like a longer period of time there. So I'm really hoping that the food's good and you have no idea where we're going, right? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Which makes it even more exciting. I also don't know if we're like overdressed. I kind of feel like we might be, I don't know. I think the, like the place that we're going to um, has a few different restaurants. That's all I can say. You guys will obviously know where this is because you'll have seen it in the title, but um, yeah, the place we're going to has a few different restaurants and I know that some of the restaurants have a dress code where like men have to wear a tie or a blazer. This one doesn't, but we thought we'd just like, you know, dress up just to be on the safe side. Also my boobs popping out of this dress, which is very annoying. <laughs> um, it's a bit of a wrap, it's like a wrap over dress and it's new. I didn't realize I've safety pinned it, but I think I'm gonna rip the dress because of the way I've done it, which is very annoying. But anyway, yeah, it's a really nice evening and I was hoping to be there a little bit earlier just to explore the area, maybe take some nice photos but because there's loads of traffic ahead of us I think we're going to be there bang on time which is not really a bad thing but yeah excited yes woohoo <laughs> Oh my god, the grounds to this place are so beautiful, aren't they? Yep. And it's all so huge. Oh, it's like little... <laughs> Do you know we're coming here? No, I got a clue. I got a clue here, but this is nice. There's loads of restaurants here, but the one we want is at the other end. Is it? Called the Glass House. That's where we're going anyway. Surprised. I'm very surprised. This is quite nice inside, yeah? Have you heard of this place? The Grove? No, I haven't. Do you have? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Have I? When? I thought you'd come here for ages. You? Yeah. I can't remember it. <laughs> anyway, it looks very nice. Okay, so the first thing I've noticed is it's not that dressy. Some people are dressed up, some people are quite casual, but I'd always rather be overdressed than dressed. And there's people. <laughs> Let's get to that.
second course, I'm getting a roast dinner. Surprisingly, for a vegetarian, I love these. It's obviously just no meat, and the gravy is a red wine shoe. Number four. Right. <laughs> Plate number four. Okay, so I asked him for a really small portion of noodle soup and he delivered. <laughs> this is Jas's fourth portion. What's been your favourite so far? I think it's been uh, the salmon, grilled salmon. Yeah. And the, the natural beef. Uh, no. <laughs> That's beef. Yeah, well, not got it again, but it's really filling. This is really filling too. Mm, yum. So it was really warm inside the restaurant and um, also we needed a bit of a break. I saw the sun was going down and it's going to get dark pretty quickly so I thought we'd come outside and just look at the grounds outside because you can't see properly from inside. And, oh my god, they're beautiful. The grounds of this hotel are absolutely huge. There must be a golf course or something back oh, there, right? Amazing, yeah. Let me just show you from here. I don't know if you can see but there's some wisteria on the back wall there. <laughs> There's a pond. I can imagine falling into that like I'm drunk if I'm staying here. <laughs> that would so happen to me. There's another pond. I feel stuffed. stuffed. You have to roll me out Every food I've tried on this buffet was amazing. It was so good. Like the food was incredible, even if you're vegetarian. Obviously there wasn't that much choice, but there was definitely enough. And oh, just don't have the vegan dessert. <clears throat> I feel like I rolling say. home. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the vegan dessert was, it was definitely vegan. Like you could taste it, it wasn't very nice, but oh, everything we had was just, <sighs> so good. How many feel now? This is the restaurant where we just ate. It's called the Glass House. I reckon that's the main reception area. These are probably people's rooms. Check out all that wisteria. Um, this must be like an open fire that they do, but this tree is so weird. <laughs> you should sit on the steps and make it like a hat. it looks at night so nice hey guys <laughs> just have a lovely meal it was oh. actually a buffet it was so and good well actually when i rang and made a booking i was like is it a buffet and they're like no 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 yeah. it's not a buffet 
they said it's more of like a food experience so they have live stations where they're doing live cooking um so i thought it'd be like a bit more of a show than it was <laughs> <laughs> it was just a buffet let's not go everyone over yeah it's like no it's a nice buffet but sometimes it down a bit. <laughs> sometimes buffets are hard to do when they you know you could generally get like cold food and i don't know what oh, kind of stuff but was just so yeah. Every like food I've tried was nice there. Ago, this was like an 11 out of 10, wasn't it? Yeah, I like. I enjoyed every bit. I mean, actually, no, 10 spoiled out of 10. For, spoiled for choice. Um, so uh, it's nice. They I, could have I, had a few more veggie options. They had like a whole platter of vegan cheeses, which I was really surprised. Oops, about. we're going a bit blurry. I feel like they could have had a few more veggie options, um, mm. but I wasn't like hungry for any more. I was very happy with like the amount of food we had. The thing is, yeah, you didn't tell me we were going here, right? And had I known, I wouldn't have had a big meal for lunch because <laughs> uh, I wish I actually didn't eat I did earlier. Say don't eat lunch. Yeah, but you know what I mean. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, oh my god, I actually want to come back. Like, no, I'll soon. definitely come back here. I, I enjoy the food. I'm so full I recommend that I it. Barely walk. Well, that was good. Definitely recommend it. But yeah, service is really good as well. Oh yeah, service was really good, um, and they're very attentive without being like yeah, you know, just stand around and watch you eat until yeah. you want something, <laughs> which is always good. Yep. Um, and it wasn't pretentious, even though it's like a five-star hotel, that's what I liked. Mm. It wasn't like, oh, we're so fancy. <laughs> like, it was just quite a chilled vibe. Yep. So, well, that's it, yeah. really. So, thanks very much for your birthday surprise. I enjoyed it. Good. And I'm also going to end this vlog here. I thought I'd keep it really short and sweet. Also, one other thing. When we were walking around the grounds, I um, had a look at this hotel's Instagram. And I had no idea, but they have an outdoor heated swimming pool. Like, if the weather was as nice as it was today during the day, that would have been so nice to use. I've got a really bad feeling, actually, that you're not allowed to, like use the spa like come like come as a day spa person you have to like stay at the hotel i have a feeling i've called them before just to inquire about coming in to use the spa facilities or whatever yes i have and i'm pretty sure that the lady i spoke to had said you have to book a treatment and their treatments are like really expensive as i'm sure you can imagine i was looking at the price of like just a simple manicure and that was like 50 quid but i guess it's probably worth it if you want to like if you're allowed to use the outdoor pool that would be amazing so i'm definitely gonna look into that because that would be so nice to do in the summer considering it isn't too far from us either but yeah it's just oh it's such a nice hotel like i'd love to stay here but i also saw on their instagram that it says that our prices start from from 230 pound per person for an overnight stay so yeah i don't know so yeah i don't know if i could justify spending that much for a hotel that's like kind of just down the road from me but anyway i really hope you enjoyed watching this if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button and i will see you very soon with a new video bye